welcome again to another episode of ISO Sports. This is the NBA Playoffs edition. And this time, I'm going to give my predictions to the first round of NBA Playoffs. So I will keep my my breakdowns kind of brief because it is the first round. And as the playoffs progress, I'll go more in depth. With that being said, let's get to it. Celtics versus Heat. I have Boston in five games. They probably should sweep the Heat with Jimmy Butler being hurt. But Miami being exceptionally coached and playing so hard on the defensive end should give them at least one home win. But besides that, Boston Towns wise is so much better than the Heat and this series shouldn't be too hard for them. They should win this series in five games. Next, we have the Knicks versus the 76ers. Now, this is a tough series. And under, well, I wouldn't say ordinary circumstances, but if Embiid was healthy, I would pick the 76ers. But it's the playoffs and Embiid, of course, is hurt. So I got the Knicks in seven games. They're a great rebounding team. They're very scrappy. They're sound defensively. And in the playoffs, unfortunately, I just trust Jalen Brunson over Embiid. And as good as Maxi is, I think that the Knicks have enough defenders that they can throw at him where they'll neutralize him and New York will advance to the second round. Bucks versus Pacers. Let's keep it a bean. All year long, the Bucks have been a disappointment. And the trade for Damian Lillard so far has been a failure. So that being said, I got the Pacers in six games. The Pacers have had the Bucks' number even when they had a healthy Giannis. And Giannis' health status is up in the air right now. I don't trust the Bucks team. They can't play defense. Dame doesn't look the same. The Pacers' offense is crazy. I got the Pacers in six. Magic versus Cavs. Now, this is probably the hardest Eastern Conference series to predict, but I would say I would pick the Cavs in six games. Both the Magic and the Cavs are young defensive teams that sometimes can struggle with offense stagnation. But at the end of the day, I will trust the experience of the superstar that is Donovan Mitchell over the star power of Paolo Bancaro and Franz Wagner. That being said, I do think it'll be a tough six games. I do think it'll be a scrappy six games, but I do have the Magic winning. Now to the Western Conference. We have OKC versus the New Orleans Pelicans. Um, I got OKC in five. It's not much to say here. I mean, I think the young stars of the Thunder shouldn't have too much trouble overwhelming a Zionless Pelicans squad. Um, the Pelicans are scrappy. They do play defense. They do have pieces. But offensively, you're looking at Brandon Ingram and... CJ McCollum as your two best offensive pieces. And if you don't have a Zion to actually put pressure on the rim, I don't think that they're going to get as many open shots and as many good shots as they normally would. With that being said, OKC can play defense. They have Shea, who's been in the, the playoffs twice. I don't see this series being that competitive. Next up, Lakers versus Nuggets. Now, this should probably be the best or second best series of the first round and i'm a lakers fan I'll, I'll be honest with you but i'm also not a fucking idiot so i have the nuggets in six uh the lakers don't have an answer for jokic and at this stage Bron and ad they will not be able to match the offensive firepower that is joker and that is jamal murray in the playoffs um each game may be very close, but the issue is, is that I just see the, the Nuggets offense um, closing games and being able to play defense as well. I mean, I made a video last time on ISO Sports that the Nuggets would win the championship without too much trouble, and I still believe that. So obviously I have the Nuggets advancing in six games. Next, we have the Timberwolves versus the Suns. Now, this is a much closer series. Um, obviously, we know that Anthony Edwards is a rising star in the NBA, and he's also backed by the great defensive talents of Rudy Gobert 
They have Jalen McDaniels. And also, you have a Carl Anthony Towns, who is still a great shooting big man and all of that. But I do think the Suns win this in seven games. Um, I, I will I will admit, this is a pick'em series. If you pick the Timberwolves, I wouldn't be mad at you. If you pick the Suns, I wouldn't be mad at you. But personally, I will rely on the scoring of KD and Booker. Um, you have KD, you have Booker, you have Bill, you have more shooting. Um, I think that shooting and that scoring prowess will overwhelm the Timberwolves. And I think that you have the Suns winning in seven games. Um, again, the Timberwolves are a young team. They're a flawed team. Um, and their second best player, Carl Anthony Towns, is hampered with injury. But expect to see a lot of great moments from Anthony Edwards, though. Uh, he will ball out. He will put up big numbers. And you will see him, his highlights all over ESPN, for sure. But I do think you will see the Suns take this. And to end this off, the best series of the first round, bar none, Clippers versus the Mavs. Um, I have no doubt this is going seven games. This is two teams that have played each other before. And even when there was only Luka and there was no Kyrie, the Mavericks were able to push the Clippers to six games and seven games, respectively. But this Luka team, this Mavericks team, is the best team Luka has ever played on. And you have Kyrie Irving, a guy who can create his own shot whenever he wants, get to the rack, score inside, score outside, play off of Luka, play with the ball in his hands. He's just a problem. And the issue is, is that the Clippers have nobody to guard him. I mean, I love Paul George and Kawhi Leonard, but if you're not, they are better guarding big shooting guards and big small forwards. They're not the type of guys that you want to put on a small shifty point guard. Um, with that being said, Kyrie will have a good series. I have the, the, the Mavs in seven games. Um, Kawhi's health is questionable. We don't know what we're getting from him. We don't know what kind of play we'll get from James Harden and Russell Westbrook. They're so up and down. Um, the Clippers will push this to seven games, though. They just have way too much talent to lose in, in less than seven games. Um, but I don't believe that they will be able to beat the Mavericks four games out of seven. And I do think that Luka and Kyrie will just overwhelm the, the Clippers and will lead to a game seven. Very reminiscent of when the Suns played the Mavericks a few years back. Um, and that that's my first round. So just to recap, I have Boston in five, the Knicks in seven, the, the Pacers in six, the Cavs in six, OKC in five, the, the Nuggets in six, and I have the Mavs in seven games. This has been ISO Sports. Thanks for watching.